Welcome to Token Pulse Daily News Briefing, where we provide you with the latest and exclusive news on blockchain and cryptocurrency. Our top stories today include Brazil's indigenous cryptocurrency project, the Ethereum community's debate over PROC POW, and the Israel National Economic Council Chairman's remarks on Bitcoin. Stay tuned for more. I'm Errol Sun, and this is your Daily News Briefing. The new president of Brazil, Jair Bolsonaro, has announced through his social media that Brazil will be shutting down a cryptocurrency development project designed for its citizens. Prior to the presidency of Bolsonaro, the National Indian Foundation of Brazil signed a contract with the Fulminance Federal University of Brazil to develop a crypto-related project. One of the project's main goals was to issue a native cryptocurrency that would circulate among the indigenous population of the country. However, according to local media outlets, on January 2nd, the government voted to suspend the project due to a lack of formal bidding process and technical analysis. The initial contract for the development of the project was signed just three days prior to the termination of the outgoing president's presidency. However, the contract is now suspended by the current president of Brazil, Jair Bolsonaro. The Finance Ministry of Thailand has issued four licenses to digital asset businesses seeking to become authorized crypto exchanges. Citing Thai SEC and the Bangkok Post, three exchanges were approved for the operation of digital asset exchanges including Bitcoin Co., Bitcup Online, and Satang Corporation. Also, another company called Wild Coins was approved as a licensed broker and dealer of cryptocurrencies. On the other hand, the Thai SEC turned down the applications of two other crypto-related businesses, Cash2Coin and the Southeast Asia Digital Exchange, citing the lack of a proper asset maintenance system, electronic KYC system, and cybersecurity. For the past year, the Thai government has shown efforts to embrace and build a healthy crypto ecosystem. Along with their Smart City and Thailand 4.0 initiative, as well as the FinTech Regulatory Sandbox, their efforts in establishing a clearer regulatory framework seems to be making a good headway. Samurai Wallet, a Bitcoin provider, announced that it will be disabling several of its security features due to the new extremely restrictive policies of Google. Just yesterday, Samurai Wallet posted on its official blog that they weren't able to come to an agreement with Google Play, which forced them to disable some of its features such as stealth mode, SIM switch defense, and remote SMS commands. The security features help to protect users from SIM swapping, a popular remote hack method that targets a weakness in two-factor authentication. According to the announcement made by Samurai Wallet, despite having requested an exemption from Google's restrictive policies, Google stood firm on its position. In response, Samurai Wallet released a new version of its service with the features disabled on Google Play Market. With the upcoming Constantinople hard fork, the Ethereum community have been expecting a bright future for the Ethereum blockchain. While it seems the hard fork may move on schedule, when it comes to settling upon the consensus algorithm update after the initial hard fork, the community might be facing some disputes. Currently, the Ethereum blockchain runs on a proof-of-stake algorithm. However, a few days ago, Ethereum core developers reached a consensus to implement a new POW algorithm called Prop POW, which will use a new ASIC hardware. The rationale behind the decision is that the introduction of the new equipment would prevent centralization as current ASIC mining rigs used in the POW blockchains are far more efficient than GPU miners used in POS-based blockchains. This raised concerns from both developers and miners. One contributor of the Ethereum blockchain claimed that the change could result in secretive behavior where new manufacturers might hide their new PROC POW miner recipes. Another called for a clearer definition and equal rules as to what constitutes a good PROC POW maker to prevent arbitrage among manufacturers. As the date for update approaches, the debate heats up. At yesterday's Israel Bitcoin Summit, the chair of the Israel National Economic Council came out saying that Bitcoin is intrinsically inefficient and will disappear. According to Cointelegraph, Abib Simon, the head of Economic Council, stated that the cost of mining Bitcoin would far outweigh the current cost of printing fiat currencies, which in turn, according to Simon, would categorize Bitcoin as a speculative asset and not a currency. 
he claimed that if Bitcoin were more efficient, the governments would have adopted it in the past which was one of the reasons why he voted against the issuance of a new digital form of shekel, Israel's native fiat currency. As an alternative, he argued that digital currency adopted in the future would more likely be a central bank-backed digital currency. Concluding his argument, Simon predicted that governments will likely remain opposed to the adoption of anonymous digital currencies due to a number of unknowns that still remain. Bringing the latest news to you, I'm your host Hun with Token Post Daily News Briefing. Thanks for watching.